Hi there, Good Golf here with a new video on Fishnet networking and Steam. In my previous video, I mentioned I had been doing some testing of my build with a couple of friends and found out there were some bugs in the end of match workflow. Testing is easy if everyone is using a Windows PC. However, some of my friends use a Mac, so I figured out what it takes to create a Mac build and see if Heathen Steamworks Complete and Fishnet play nicely together on a Mac too. And it turns out to be possible. However, it took me a week to figure it all out. So today's video is on how to create a working Steam, Fishnet and Mac build. Before we start, let me list the prerequisites. First of all, you will need an Apple developer account, which sets you back for about 99 euros annually. Although it may be possible without, the easiest way to create a build for a Mac is on a Mac. You will need to install Xcode, which you can freely download with the Apple developer account. And of course, install Unity on your Mac too. Obviously, the costs will largely be influenced by the Mac hardware and next the Apple developer account. OK, once you have installed the tools and copied your Unity project to your Mac, there are 10 steps to complete a Mac build. The first three steps are to create a developer ID certificate, which will be needed to sign your code and notarize the application. This is a mandatory step for distributing Mac code using Steam. Then we need to create a bundle identifier for your application, which we will use in Unity. Once the bundle identifier is created, you can start changing the Unity build settings. Once that is done, you can build the project as input for Xcode. After the build in Unity completes, you can open the Xcode project, which was created with the build the game option. Next, you will need to enable code signing and add the hardening runtime capability. Without it, you cannot notarize your application. The last step in Xcode is to notarize and distribute your app. This will easily take an hour or more if you have a large project like I have, gigabytes size. When this is completed, the final step is to upload the notarized app to Steam and deploy this Mac Depot in your Steam application build. I will show each step and point out the key steps to make it work. Before I start, one comment. When you check the Unity documentation on creating a Mac build, you will see a whole story about manual code signing using the Xcode toolchain. I tried this and I can tell you, don't bother. The description is outdated, vague and leads you nowhere. Just use the Xcode method outlined next. Step 1. Create a certificate signing request using Keychain Access. Open the application and select Certificate Assistant, request a certificate from a certificate authority, add the required information and check Save to Disk. When you click Continue, the request will be saved to the disk. Step 2 and 3. Create the certificate in the Apple Developer Portal. Log in to the portal and go to the Certificates, Identifiers and Profiles page. Create a new certificate and select the Developer ID Application option. Click Continue. On the next page you can choose a file which allows you to select the signing request file we created in the previous step. Keep the checkbox on Previous Sub-CA. After reading the text I thought it would be better to pick the other option, however the certificate created that way wasn't valid for use. Once you continue with this step, a certificate is created and you can download it to your Mac. To import the certificate into the keychain, simply double click it to upload it to the keychain. Step 4. Register a bundle identifier in the developer portal. On the Certificates, Identifier and Profiles page, select the Identifiers menu item and click on the blue plus button and select the App IDs selection on the next page. 
click continue, select app, and then continue again. On the register an ID page, you will first need to enter a bundle ID. The form for this ID typically is in reverse order. So start with the com, then your company name, or just default company, followed with the name of the game. Add a description and click on continue to save. Step 5. Change the build settings for your project in Unity. Obviously, the target platform needs to be set to macOS, and the first change to make is to ensure that the Xcode checkbox is set. This is important since we need to use Xcode to build and notarize the project. Then go to the player settings where you need to make a few changes. In resolution and presentation, you need to set full screen mode to maximized window. In the other settings, check override default bundle identifier and put exactly the same bundle identifier from step 4 in this bundle identifier box. Make sure Mac App Store validation is switched off since we are building for Steam, not for the Apple Store. Step 6. When the settings have been updated, then build your game as an Xcode project. This will create a folder with all the necessary files and the Xcode project file. Step 7. Open the Xcode project file by double clicking on it and build it. Step 8. The next steps in Xcode are crucial to make the executable ready for distribution. In the Xcode build settings, make sure automatically manage signing is enabled. In Team, select the certificate created in steps 1 to 3. The name to select will be the same as you entered in the Certificate Assistant Common Name field. Check that the bundle identifier is the same as the one created in step 4. Click on Capability and select Hardening Runtime to add it to the build's settings. Without it, you cannot get the application notarized. However, if you leave the default settings as is, your application will not run. The first option needs to be enabled is Allow execution of just-in-time compiler code. This is the core of what Unity does, so without it, no working game. I also needed to check Disable Library Validation, since I used the Heathen Steamworks package, which comes with plugins which are signed by other developers. I found this out the hard way. The exception in the player log shown is a clear hint. We'll get back to that later. Step 9. Notarize the application. This is a prerequisite for Mac applications distributed safely by any means, including Steam. Select the Archive item menu, and once the Organizer window shows, select the Build and Distribute App button. In the next window, select the Direct Distribution option, and click on the Distribute button. Next, your app is being packaged and uploaded to Apple. Depending on the size of your project, this will take a while. My gigabyte-sized project takes the better part of an hour to upload. Maybe I should consider using addressables? Once the app has been uploaded, Apple will run checks, which will take some time, usually less than an hour. When this completes, the export button is enabled, and you can save the notarized app to your local machine. This is also a good moment to run a test of this application. Step 10. The application is now ready to be published to Steam. I downloaded the Steam SDK and updated the depot configuration. Open a terminal window, run the Steam command .sh bash script Log in to Steam and execute the run app build command. In the Steam portal, set this build live to the default branch and you're ready to go. Before I wrap up today's video, let me give one tip which can be very useful for debugging your code and checking if additional hardening options need to be switched on. You can open the console utility on your Mac 
and open the player log to review the debug information. I use this in step 8 to find out the Steamworks plugin certificate signature clashed with mine in the build. OK, that's it for now. Let me wrap up with a proof that this all works. A short demo starting with the Steam app and selecting my proof of concept game to run. Having put in the effort to make a Mac build run, I now have a taste from trying more Mac based development. Let's see if I can make a game using Fishnet for iOS in Unity and deploy it. That's it for today, and if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up.